Hey, Kawhi. Um, just w wanted to see. Yeah, Luka Doncic was talking about you guys being physical defenders. And obviously, that's something you've done your whole career. But how, how do you kind of, like, share that with your teammates? Um, I think we just, we already, uh, you know, there are already a group of guys that I am pretty much play physical, um, you know, wanted to play defense, but um, it's just a part of winning. Um, you got to play defense to win games and just let guys score every possession down the floor. Um, so I guess it's uh, just a collective mindset of wanting to win. Next, we're going to go to Ohm. Hey, Kawhi, uh, Paul said yesterday that um, in order to try to expedite the chemistry and not lose time in the pandemic, um, he and you got together a couple times and visited with each other. I was wondering, what did you guys do? What did you guys, what did you guys accomplish? And how has that helped you two entering the playoffs? Um, we pretty much just, uh, you know, went to the gym. Uh, we were able to get a gym, went to the gym. Uh, just able to get shots, talk to each other, you know what I mean? Um, you know, just see what, what we thought worked uh, in games, uh, you know, just talking about personal life, yeah. things like that, uh, just getting to know one another. And, um, you know, that could just build in a long way from there. Um, just get comfortable um, with talking with someone. You could tell them what they're not doing or, you know, what they are doing well. So, uh, that's it, really, pretty much. Next, we're going to go to Tencent in Orlando. Hi, Tom. You just reported uh, NBA playoff experience in the bubble environment. So how do you feel it differently? Um, just not on the road, uh, not home, obviously. Uh, family members aren't around. And, uh, you know, you're not seeing the uh, feel or love uh, from the city. So that's it. All right, next we're gonna to go to Mark. Mark, you have to unmute yourself. Mm. Yeah, what, uh, Kawhi, what do you think you got out of these these games as a team? Um, you know, a lot of team, Doc was talking about a lot, a lot of teams had changed and came in and, and were different than they were during the regular season. What do you think the your team got out of these preliminary games? Um, really, uh, just team experience, really. Uh, you know, being able to play eight games, uh, see what works for us, and then going into these playoffs, uh, obviously we're around each other a lot more. And, uh, that's it. Uh, just able to, you know, somewhat get a team bond going on. And, uh, Know, just focusing on these playoffs, taking it, taking those eight games one game at a time. Um, you know, our team was different with guys in and out, but um, that's, that's what it is for me. Okay, we're going to take two more questions. One from Tomer. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Cool. Um, hey, Kawhi, just curious, throughout the uh, hiatus in the NBA suspension, um, what were your thoughts on the season potentially being canceled? Obviously, there's a lot of talk about we didn't know whether the season would continue. Uh, did that keep you in your mind at all, considering, you know, for a lot of guys, this is their best opportunity for a championship? It keep in my mind what? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, no, I was saying. What were your thoughts on the NBA season potentially being canceled during the hiatus? Did that creep into your mind at all that this was sort of a lost opportunity, potentially, if it didn't continue? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're not able to see what the outcome is, and, um, you know, we pretty much played 70% of the season, and, um, you know, playoffs were around the corner. It definitely was a, you know, a lost opportunity for everyone, um, even for guys that – for rookies, um, just being able to get that experience of a full NBA season. Um, so, yeah, that definitely crept in my mind, um, you know, but, uh, you know, we're here now. Okay, last one is Shane. Hey, Kawhi, uh, how much of a challenge is Porzingis as a matchup uh, a problem? And is that a situation where you just have to try multiple looks and give him multiple defenders until you figure out what works? Yeah, um, 
you know, he's what, seven, seven something, seven two, seven foot. Um, can shoot the ball, can, put, can, can dribble, uh, make plays out of the post, even from that three point line, uh, by dribble driving. And, uh, you know, you just got to, you know, keep a high hand up and, you know, try to, try to uh, challenge your shots. Uh, he's very skilled.